Good morning, it's Matt Bazonia here. Uh, a quick tennis profits update. Um, we have added something to the trading stats report. Trading stats report can be found from the stats menu uh, here, and it's helpfully entitled the trading stats report. So click on that one. Um, actually, we've done two things. The first one that we've done is um, we have removed the uh, the clutter on the page. So previously, this would have been what greeted you, which for the uninitiated is a little bit uh, overwhelming. So now when you go to this page, you'll see a much cleaner look um, and you can kind of navigate the, the, the data that's on there a bit easier. Um, so this is Trading Stats Report. It is, as the name suggests, a report showing trading stats. And as well as the surface, you can choose all surfaces or today's. Um, the period of the last 10 or less, last 30 matches or one year, two year. And you can choose your tours. Um, you can also choose to show or hide finished matches and tomorrow's matches. Um, in this second row of buttons, we've got different strategies. So it's currently displaying key stats. So that is service hold, uh, return points one, break points saved, break points one, these are percentages, and opponents hold. Um, and you can sort by any of these columns like so. Uh, you can also sort by player name, start time and odds and you can click on any row to bring the opponent's uh, data adjacent to the row you clicked so in this case if I click on Kachin's row um, he's playing Jerome Kim and these are the respective data in the key stats section um, so that's a little bit of background this is a place that I uh, start essentially all the time because it's I can see all of the players in one place in a single view um, so if you're not familiar with it again it's under stats the stats menu and it's a trading stats report definitely worth a look if you haven't if you haven't taken time with it already um, to reinstate all the players again sorry I should have told you that just click in the in the header row so anywhere by player here and that puts everybody back in there um, so I'm going to put um, the dominant player back in and now you can see that um, when I've uh, clicked this checkbox here you can see that it, it highlights, it emboldens the, the, um, the stats where the player has the better record against his opponent or her opponent and it tells you in percentage terms by how much. So for example with Pedro Cachin um, he has a slightly better record in terms of service hold uh, just 1.6 percent better than his opponent he doesn't have a better record with return points one because we can't see a, a plus next to it or with break points saved or with break points one and on opponent hold his record the red number is actually a negative so he has a higher opponent hold which is a negative stat uh, so that's that and then if you want to know um, the sample size if you want to know how many games or matches or points that's that's um, predicated on just click the show breakdown button and then you can see that for instance the service hold is based on 668 service games um, I tend to look at the data like this the cluttered view but then that's because I'm very used to looking at this this report if that's a bit too much for you then certainly um, take these off while you're first looking oh I should also have said that we have this color coding here as well which is helpful so obviously um, green is good in relation to all players on that tour amber is okay and red is not so good um, and it, the, the the ranges the color scheme ranges are different for men and women uh, on the tour because obviously uh, men will have a, things like a stronger serve stats in percentage terms um, just because of the physicality so that's that the other thing to mention on this report is that we've added in um, so in our strategies we have a back the server strategy and for some reason 
um, <laughs> we didn't have a back the server stats button. So we now do, uh, and it's there. And um, you can see that we've got first serve, uh, first serve points one, service hold and breakpoint saved, which are the um, back the server key stats as shown here. Um, so again, that's in the strategies back the server and I'm on the trading stats report here. So, and of course I can get the breakdown and the dominant player in there and then I can order all of this how I would like um, by strongest first if I want to. So for example, in this case, um, might be interested in Yoshihito Nishioka, uh, who has a good set of combined statistics there uh, in the context of the back the server uh, strategy. So that's a new a new strategy we've added to the trading stats report and we've just made the default to have um, all of that clutter hidden. If you want to add it in, as I always do, then use these checkboxes here. Uh, that's it. Um, hope you enjoy using the trading stats report as I say if you're not using it you really should be because it's a great it's a great place to start and to find matches to look into in more detail um, the one thing that I haven't mentioned is that once you once you're looking at a match and you're interested then just click on the little I and that will take you over to the match page so this is uh, Garcia versus Suri Best Tormo uh, today which I clicked through from the little eye here. Okay, that's enough. Uh, this is Matt Bisogno saying thank you very much for watching. Good luck with the trading stats report and the new strategy button for back the server. And goodbye for now.